For my chicken and beef shawarma, here are the ingredients. For the flour, I am going to be using 1000 grams, which is also 1 kg. And for the sugar, I will be using 4 tablespoons. For the salt, I will be taking two and a half teaspoon. For the baking powder, I will be using one teaspoon. Now, this is the only recipe where I use both yeast and baking powder. And for my yeast, I will be using one and a half tablespoon. The spoon I'm using does not have a direct half tablespoon. So to get half tablespoon, you use a teaspoon and half teaspoon, which is 5 ml and 2.5 ml. Remember, half tablespoon is just 7 and a half. Okay? Now for my milk, I am using 1 and a half cup. Next, you just mix everything together. After that, you add half cup of butter. Next, begin to rub in the butter into the floor until everything is well mixed. Now, make a well at the middle and then add your two and a half cups of water. Now, this water has to be added gradually. So, I am starting with two cups of water. The reason is because some flour may require more water, while some don't. So, you begin to mix after you add the two cups of water. And after that, when you notice that the mixture requires more, you now add your half cup of water. Mix until well combined. Now, after mixing it in, the mixture should not be too hard and should not be too watery. The only thing is that it will be a little bit sticky. Sprinkle some flour on the work table and transfer the dough. Now continue to knead the dough a little bit but at this point it is not going to be the final stage. You knead a little and position it back to the bowl where you removed it from and cover it to rest for 5 minutes. 5 minutes later you return the dough to the work table. You can see the dough is a little bit soft now. Kneading one cup of flour again into the dough. Now, it will be a little bit stronger than what you used to have after kneading in the one cup. Make sure you work on the dough thoroughly for at least about 3 minutes. That is, continue to knead for about 3 minutes, okay? And after that, you cover your dough to rest for another 10 minutes. Ten minutes later, you can see the dough has proved a little bit. Now, the aim is not to double it in size. The aim is to make it a little bit softer than what it used to be and also a little bit elastic. As that is the major thing the yeast does, it helps in the elasticity of your dough after proving. Next, divide your dough into smaller balls at least 140 gram bowl for each 
that is you can see where i place them you can see a lot of floor under them okay next you begin to roll out now there is something i want you to know as you are rolling use enough floor make it very generous don't be stingy with your floor else you will not be able to roll it well and it may not be able to form round a good round shape for you if the floor is not enough as you are rolling it will be sticking on the rolling pin and probably on the table because it is not too strong okay the dough is not too strong so after each rollout you set aside now when you are setting aside pour a lot of floor on it okay that they won't even know that this is a dough anymore you have to hide it the entire face or the color of the dough with enough floor now i will be working with four at a time after rolling out okay i'm going to be rolling out four and i'm going to show you how to work on this four so just watch this is the third one now that i'm rolling out you can see the other two by the corner upper left Now, anyone I place on top, I sprinkle a lot of floor. I'm now rolling the fourth one. Now, the floor helps you to roll it out without stress. It makes the rolling pin to go freely on it. Okay? Now, this is the fourth one. I have sprinkled a lot of floor on the other three. And I'm still going to be sprinkling a lot of floor here before i roll all of them out together the most important thing i want you to know here is this we are putting a lot of floor so that by the time we want to cut it you know we are still going to remove it from one another by the time i want to cut it it will not join together and i am using this my round bow which is about 10 to 11 inches to cut you can use any round thing to cut Remember, shawamas are round in shape, especially the store-bought shawarma wrappers, okay? They are round in shape. So you can see what I've done. This is the only way you can get an equal shape uh, shawarma wrapper. Those ones you normally see in the shop. Now, after this cutout, remove the excess floor, either with your hands or with your brush. Make sure there is no single floor before you take it to the heat now while on heat allow it to cook flipping over at intervals until you are able to see the dotted brown color okay now when you are cooking it you notice it will begin to rise now once you notice it is rising like that know that the heat has actually gone round it you don't have to allow it to overcook when it overcooks it begins to crack just like the some of the ones we buy in the store when you want to roll it it will begin to crack so you don't allow it to begin to crack because it will hurt you um it will be difficult for you to use and roll your shawarma if you are not a professional okay so you don't do that just be careful and as you are working on it, know when it is not over overcooking. Already you can see it rising up on its own. You can see and at this point now it is set to be ready. But I am just wait, waiting to see that dotted brown color. Then I will remove it from heat. Now for the chicken and beef marinade, this is my ingredients. First of all, wash and place the meat and the chicken into a saucepan. Add your onions, add your garlic and ginger powder, add the stock cube, add the stock cube, I'm using two stock cube here, add your curry, add your thyme. Add your salt, 
add your fresh hot chili that is the normal fresh pepper the one they call scotch bonnet now mix them together cook with the little water inside the meat by the time it starts drying out you add a little more water just cook until it is tender after that remove from heat and begin to cut into smaller bite sides now after cutting this my video was not able to capture this i didn't know the video turned off okay after cutting this all you need to do is to return them again to heat this time using a very small vegetable oil and toss them around okay you can add a stock cube and a little bit of onions as you are doing this tossing all right and make sure you don't do it for more than two to three minutes then taste for salt and remove from heat then after doing that you also do the same with that of your chicken franks which is the hot dog we are using and it is ready to go filling and wrapping now this is my chili sauce and this is my ketchup and then this is my mayonnaise i'm using bama product okay you can see they are all sealed that is just how i bought them from the supermarket so i had to now unseal them open all the cups and with your small bowl that is not even not too small something medium bowl begin to pour some amount of your chili ketchup and more amount of the bama although it depends on your own choice but this is just the best for me so starting with my ketchup i have just added some and then my chili sauce and I will mix them together. After mixing them together, you add the bama. For the bama, I'm going to put a whole lot of it. There's another thing I am supposed to buy, which is a hen's salad cream. But because I didn't want it to be too sugary, because that particular salad cream is too sugary. That's why I am just okay with the bama. Mix it together. To combine very well now pour it into the salad and for the salad I have used cabbage carrots onions and a stock cube okay just pour it into the salad and then mix it together it has to be juicy enough because your shawarma is always sweeter when the cream is more mix it very well to combine So you can see how juicy it is now set it aside and for the shawarma wrapping we'll be using our foil paper and for the foil paper i will cut out something that will be comfortable enough for me to wrap the shawarma making sure all parts of the shawarma are closed and i'm going to be cutting as much as needed for the shawarma please note the excess cutout you removed when you were cutting the shawarma wrappers in round shape must always be turned into balls to be used later also for the shawarma wrapper now for the foil set them aside immediately after cutting also now here are the shawarma wrappers we just made you can see there are so many they're almost 20 i didn't calculate it i think there are more than 20 that's to say that your 1 kg plus 1 cup extra flour can give you as many as possible. So we start with the filling now. First, you take one, one of the wrapper. Apply some chicken. You can start with the salad. You can start with the chicken. You can start with the hot dog. However you start, however you want it, it will work. But this one, 
I want to now show you how you can make all those ones they snap on picture and post. Okay. I'm still going to foil it at last, but not now. At least for display. You can see when you wrap it like this, nothing came out. Alright. So you continue to fill it up. Those ones you normally see on net that is well decorated. This is just how they wrap it. They put so many and then seal it up with your Obama cream. Okay, to seal it, you just need your Obama cream and brush. All right. So this is some Obama cream, only the Obama cream anyway, that I have just poured into a plate. And for me to seal it, I will just apply a little of the Obama using my brush. And then I will seal it up. So you can decide that more of the salad and the meat, you know, is showing at the edge of it. Or you can decide that only the salad, it depends on how you want your designs to be, okay? And then you position it on a tray. Now for the next one, I am starting with the salad. Remember that the first one, I started with the meat. That is the chicken and beef. So and after the salad, I position my chicken and my beef. And then I now add my chicken franc, okay? And then I roll again. Always remember to seal up with your bama. Now you can fill up with meat so that it will be very appetizing by the time your customer sees it. Now cover your baking tray with foil. Make sure it sticks to the foil by folding behind the tray okay make sure everything laps on the tray now this is the tray you're going to be using to place the shawamas and then for the baking also all right after that you now arrange your shawamas on top of the tray now after that we're going to be starting with that of the foil shawamas okay i'm also going to be wrapping this but i did it actually behind camera I just want to position for you to see how it's looking. I'll be showing you that later, okay? Now, the next one now will have to be the foiled shawarma. I'll do the same thing. Apply all my filling and then wrap it up. Then after wrapping it up, I will now place it on top of the foil and fold together. So this time as if you are working on your spring roll, you just go ahead and do this. Although this is not compulsory, you can still do it the same way we did the first three and then still foil it like that, okay? Now I am foiling it, place it on a foil and then when you roll, you, you know, fold the two ends and you are good to go. So this is the first uh, ones we did, the open shawamas we did and these are the wrapped ones okay now for the baking i wanted to use my grill machine but unfortunately the light that was available as at the moment cannot carry the machine that is the solar light so i decided since there is no nepa let me just use my oven that is to show you that you can as well go ahead and bake it for at least 30 minutes on medium heat in your oven and it will be ready so this is the grilling machine i wanted to use okay but it's a bit heavy the current is a bit the voltage is a bit heavy so i don't think the solar will be able to carry it so this is what it looks like in case if you have it or you want to buy it okay but right now i'm sending in it sending it into the oven and once it's ready, you won't see any other thing rather than what you are looking at. That is just how it's going to be looking. So, that is it for now. Remember the open shawarma, I will also wrap it before I bake it. Okay? See you in my next video. Bye for now.